What was that? <laughs> I actually can't keep the up. Is it? <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a pleasure to welcome you all today to celebrate the marriage of Diane and Bill. Um, I did have a speech prepared, um, and I tried to keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I did a very good job, so I started again. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. I was reading this earlier, that's what I've done. Right, okay. um, I felt so proud and honoured to give away my mum today, um, until she asked me to give a speech. <laughs> um, today's a celebration of, love, of the love between Diane and Bill, plus all those who have supported them and influenced their lives to this point today. It's lovely to see so many friends and family members joining us to celebrate this special day. Oh, I feel like I'm going already. <laughs> <laughs> You need to keep quiet. <laughs> you need to keep quiet. And I need to look at Dawn. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've known Bill a while now, and he's a really decent chap. He's earned the respect um, of me and Tash, and he's become an important part of our family unit. From running to the bus stop to helping me with my A-level maths, he's been there for me out of the good of his heart. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I talked to you about making a long speech, but this is going to be long. <laughs> Dawn, talk to Dawn. Um, it's time like these that we get to say thanks for all the special things that people do. So, <laughs> so thank you, Bill. For all of the lovely things you do, it's the smile on my mum's face that shows how happy you make her. Um, um, the, big, the big things in life tend to fall into place. It's the little things that make the difference. And Bill's insistence on the perfection of little things. Sorry, I've got a sore throat as well. Isn't this just, <laughs> it's just not going well so far, is it? Um, but Bill's insistence on the perfection of little things make him such a jolly, genuine, caring person. It is true. Bill can talk at length about any place, person, or subject. <laughs> Wherever the topic, he has read a magazine, a book, or watched a documentary. I've found, when he's in full flow, it's best just to nod and say, wow. <laughs> it's not very clever, but it fits in a yawn perfectly. <laughs> I think when, I, when I've reached the point in life where I can make him yawn, I know that I've made it. <laughs> now, there's something not many people know about Bill. And this is the part where Bill never sweats Kyle <laughs> starts to sweat. <laughs> he is the most ruthless Monopoly player I have ever had the displeasure of playing with. Clearly, Fenchurch Street Station is worth more than a friendly agreement between pals. <laughs> that was a dark day for our friendship. <laughs> and we haven't played Monopoly since. <laughs> now, now it's your turn, Mum. Don't, don't be too worried. <laughs> Everyone already knows you for. I mean, password. <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to say how beautiful you're looking today. <laughs> Bill, I think you've done very well. <laughs> um, now you have skate tissues ready. I think you're going to be blubbing more than that time Janine killed Barry Evans on his standards. <laughs> right, here we go. This is the difficult part. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of stuff that we've done together, and I realised you really are a terrible mum. <laughs> During my lifetime, you have left me in an ant's nest, <laughs> scolded me <Yeah>. twice, <laughs> and also let me eat dog poo. <laughs> perhaps, it's not, perhaps it's not much of a wonder that I'm not a huge fan of chocolate. <laughs> However, th despite all this, you mean everything to me. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a long one. Um, you're an amazing woman. Ever wise and forgiving. You've been there for Tasha and I a whole night. 
Come on, Al. Come on. <laughs> Keep going, you can do it. I'll talk to Scott. Right, need to look at... Oh, look at James. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the scene. That was um, you are and always will be the rock in our lives that we run to. For money, usually. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we're lost, no matter where you are in the world. I can't wait to get past this bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the mother. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I need a drink. <laughs> Not just a mother, you're a best friend too. Words can't describe how special you are to me. If, if, at these points, if, if everyone could just, could just clap or... <laughs> <laughs> To say these things. So thank you, Mum. All I have achieved, be it exam grades or watching a whole season of Breaking Bad in one day, <laughs> I owe it all to you. Uh, I was having a look on a speech website actually, and I came across the bride's best quality section. You heard quite a lot on it actually. <laughs> <laughs> that much. That much. Um, ambitious, charismatic. Fun to be around, hardworking, intelligent, popular, resilient, unselfish. Truth is, you're all of these. And well, I think you'd have to be really. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is like anything. Ups and downs, tears and joy. But together, you'll hand whatever life throws at you. You must always remember to be patient, tolerant, and forgive. Bill's deaf, and Mum has a terrible memory, so I think, <laughs> <laughs> so I think this should be quite easy. <laughs> My Mum's a lovely woman, and I'm proud to be her son. And I know Bill's proud to be her husband. You make a lovely couple, and you'll always be great together. And although you don't need it, I wish you a very happy marriage. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, love a lot, laugh a lot, listen a lot, talk a lot, and Bill, spend a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and this leads to my final duty, and very great privilege. <laughs> to propose a toast. <laughs> <laughs> to my mum and new stepdad. So would you all please stand and join me for a toast to the happy couple. Happy couple. Happy couple. Happy couple. Happy couple. Happy couple. Happy Ladies and gents, Diane and Bill. Diane and Bill. Diane and Bill. Diane and Bill.